Anyway, go ahead and take one of these as you go along. But this is the handout as well, and this is all fully available and downloadable. So I'll start that one here. I got another one here. But feel free to open up that binder and steal one. Feel free. All right. So everyone ready to get started? OK, make sure you have Revit 2018 fired up on your machines. OK. All right, we're good. I, there's some apps on there you might have to cancel the splash screen at. I'm using my personal computer, so my data sets will look a little, a little different. Has anyone seen me speak before? OK, so I'm kind of animated. I'm going to run up up here. And if you think I was animated before, structure is my passion. I'm a licensed structural engineer, uh, and that's kind of my day job. Uh, so I'm going to get really super passionate about this stuff, all right? So any structure question you have, anything you want to throw out there, just do it, all right? All right, so this is the first example. We're going to try to find the total surface area of a structural beam. Eh, not so exciting, but it is exciting. And I'll explain why. Can everyone hear me? I feel like I'm a little low. I'm a little light. No? Okay. I'll yell if I have to. All right, everyone, fire up Revit 2018. And I don't have it fired up. We'll keep an eye on the time. Oh, intro down to eight minutes. That's awesome. I'm trying to get my intros down a bit further. I've been averaging about 15 minutes, so if I can get it down to 10 minutes, that's good. All right, so the data set works like this. We've got uh, the main examples, those will be the eight we're going over today. And then the additional examples are the 85 or so that you can do in your own time. All right. So we're going to be hitting the main example folder. So we're going to do basically just like we showed. Navigate to your data set. You would have to go to your desktop. Uh, so, so you open Revit, and then you open the, the, the project. For you, you'd go to your desktop and hit the data set button. Mine's in a little bit different spot, so the lab assistants can help me. Uh, tell you where to go there. Okay. It's called, yeah, the data set. And there's this main example folder and the additional. Don't go in the additional, go in the main. And then we're just going to go off the names. So this one's going to be surface area beams. Beam area start. Yeah? Beam area start. Data sets, main examples, beam area start. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Data set under Marcelo. Sorry. Data sets, Marcelo, main examples, area beam. All right. It's early. All right, good. I like the energy. It's already, I can already feel it. All right, I'm going to keep moving. The techs are going to help you get it up. Make sure you see this on your screen. Carl, John, Jason, you see this on everyone's screen? OK, ready? So here's the thing. Um, like over the last three and a half years, I got everyone's attention. Over the last three and a half years, I've been, I've been getting, like the most common questions I get is pretty much what I put into these examples today. So one of them is, how do I get the surface area of a beam? You might not think that's a big deal, but surface area is actually a very big deal. Well, your first answer could be, just go to Revit, right? Forget about Dynamo. You click on a beam. Can anyone tell me where the surface area property is in the, dial in the properties window? Where's the surface area in here? Where is it at? It's not there, right? OK. That's an awesome opportunity for Dynamo to be useful. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Part of this lab is going to be like, should I use Dynamo or I shouldn't? And it's going to be a personal decision, every single thing you do in Revit. Everything? Yes, everything. So I want to get the surface area. If the surface areas were in here, I'd argue you wouldn't need Dynamo, because you can run that off to a schedule, export, and away you go, right? 